A phone voice says, it's Pia. Me, who? Pia. How many people you know named Pia? Pia Lindstrom. From, whom I haven't heard since her mom Ingrid Bergman won that first Oscar. I'm on the Gulf of Mexico Island. You're where? Florida, a private island. Birds, animals, fish, golf. Resort not retirement. Wonderful. I have my Havanese with me. Didn't even know anybody here when I found it, and I don't care. I don't need to talk to anyone anymore. Sailors come here, but not regular people. I still have an apartment in New York, but I had enough. This once was a pirate captivity place. Yeah, okay. Great. It's where Gasparilla hung out. Yeah, okay. Great. So who'd you call me? Oh, accident. I was dialing somebody else. We'll have to wait until September 24th to see Gandolfini's son Michael play Tony Soprano in The Many Saints of Newark, a prequel to The Sopranos which has had more delays than indoor dining. Hardly up Shit's Creek, the stars of that hit show are reaping the benefits. You may have seen Dan Levy's recent SNL hosting debut, and Emily Hampshire is set to play Mary Hartman. Norman Lear, who created it in the 70s starring Louise Marie Lasser and is himself in the 90s, is also producing it in the 2021s. Hampshire will also co, write and co, produce, not just Mank. Which, some critics say stank. Gary Oldman's now in crisis. I play a biochemist working on a drug more addictive than Oxycontin and going public. Evangeline Lilly, as a mom whose son sells the stuff, went to a Narcotics Anonymous meeting to prepare. Army Hammer, whose own issues have recently bounced him from other projects, plays a DEA agent. Oscar nominee Renee Taylor and Golden Globe nom Lainey Kazan roll out their new film fest comedy Tango Shalom. The late Joe Bullen is in it, and co, wrote it. Co, producers Joel Swick, who did My Big Fat Greek Wedding. As battling moms, in, law, Renee and Lainey schlep in and out of a synagogue, mosque, temple and cathedral because Crown Heights Grand Rabbi enters a tango competition to save his school from bankruptcy but, since orthodoxy precludes touching a woman other than the wife, he asks a priest an imam and a seek for advice. Why, you ask? This I don't know. It already won Montreal Independent Film Fest's Best Comedy and Downtown India's Jaipur Critics Award. This I know. Worth watching is 2001's Boss of Bosses, about the famous December 16, 1985, hit on Paul Castellano outside Sparks Steakhouse. He got whacked after bug tapes were released showing John Gotti moving loads of illegal drugs. Being either his life or Castellano's, Gotti ordered the hit on his own boss Castellano and took over two weeks later. Unknown. Except to a very few. Is that on that very morning Castellano plus bodyguards were actually at his dermatologist's Staten Island office. He had skin problems. Had even brought lunch to the doctor, who never knew that his nice gracious patient with the nice new skin was having his final appointment. Incidentally, despite the mass exodus to Florida. America's rest home. We still retain about 8.5 million New Yorkers, and all but three are running for mayor. NYC. An exciting place. Where something is happening all the time. Most of it unsolved and often happening in the subway. Only in New York, kids. Only in New York.